Hello there girls, boys and as always others. Uh, today the plan is to have a look through the quality mark that I set on the carbon cycle. Now this was set for my students um, a little while ago uh, and the plan was to get the teachers to mark it. Now the teachers made a really good start on that, um, however, unfortunately over the half term holidays uh, we lost two of our staff members so uh, there's still some work there that needs to be done in terms of marking and unfortunately none of us have had the time to crack on with it. So this video is for you students who have not yet had your work marked to help you to self assess your work. For those of you who have already had your work marked and you're not necessarily sure where the marks have and haven't come from, this will be really useful too. So first job, let's actually have a look at the task at hand. So this was the task. It said, for the last 200 million years, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has remained almost the same. Describe the natural processes which remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. To gain full marks in this question, you should write your ideas in good English, put them in sensible order and use correct scientific words. OK, so there are two key points that I want to pick out from this question. The first one is actually underlined. But let's enhance it a little bit more. Natural processes. So this is not synthetic, not done by humans or people or anything like that. That's the first point. So if you've mentioned burning of fossil fuels, that's not going to get you any marks because that is not a natural process. The second bit I want to draw your attention to is remove carbon dioxide. So we're looking for processes that are actively taking it away from the atmosphere. Maybe put that in bold as well. So it's taking it away specifically from the atmosphere, not giving it to the atmosphere. So lots of you um, that I saw in the webinar, you were saying, oh, what about respiration? Respiration releases carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. This is looking for natural processes which remove it from the atmosphere. The bit here it says, uh, to gain full marks, blah, 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 sensible order, correct English, blah, 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 blah. When you have a six mark exam question, a lot of the time they're marked in sort of categories. So you either get mark one and mark two, mark three and mark four, mark five and mark six. Each of those are set within their own little sections. So mark one and mark two, if you have made a few points, but then use some good language, you'd probably get mark number two. Okay. If you've just made a few good points and not used any scientific language, you probably get mark number one. The difference there is just the language that you are using. So if at all possible, if you can ever use some scientific language, that's probably going to bump your mark up automatically. If you're using it correctly, of course. So this sheet here is my mark scheme and you can see there the specialist terms are highlighted. So if you have the words shown in red, you're more likely to be at the upper end of that sort of grade section. So the second mark, the fourth mark, the sixth mark. So I advise you to talk about three different processes uh, in the atmosphere that they remove carbon dioxide. Uh, I have actually got four here, just in case. So the first one that removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is plants. They remove, now I have just left it as carbon there. Technically we should say carbon dioxide. They have caught people out on that before, so do be a bit careful of that. Uh, so there we go. Plants take in slash absorb carbon dioxide. So the higher mark there is for specifying that it is carbon dioxide, not just carbon there. Uh, photosynthesis is the name of a process, so that's going to get you a higher mark again. And the carbon is converted to, we did talk when we were doing the carbon cycle about the forms that the carbon is present in. Um, it's not necessarily always asked about, but when it is, it's getting that top level. So if you are aiming for the level 7, level 8, level 9, you do need to be looking at that sort of language there. So the carbon is converted to glucose to starch, to carbohydrates. Those are great words to be using. The second main process is fossilization. So when the fossils are being formed, the carbon dioxide that the organism has breathed in um, and is stored in the remains of that dead creature. Now, depending on how you've worded this, you might not have got the marks. In fact, this mark scheme here isn't particularly well worded. Carbon's 
Organisms absorb carbon through feeding. Yeah, that's not removing it directly from the atmosphere then. So technically that bit is a little bit wrong. So we're going to ignore that bit for now. But when the organisms die, the carbon is locked up in the form of a fossil fuel. So uh, locked up in oil, coal, natural gas, methane, fossil fuels, all of those are accepted there. It's got to be that idea of locked up. OK, so the carbon can get absorbed into the fossils and stay there and it is locked up. Better one is... Uh, the absorption from the ocean. Lots of you I saw, the ones that I marked, put sequestration. Great example of a scientific word. We did talk about it in our uh, lessons, so that was really cool of you all to include. Um, so ocean absorption, what we have got, as we keep saying, is there is a balance between what is in the air and what is in bodies of water. So the CO2 in the atmosphere, because it is soluble, it's going to dissolve into bodies of water, such as the ocean, the seas, the rivers, such things like that. Um, dissolves being a scientific word there. Uh, the form of carbon that it's in, again, this is this level seven, level eight, level nine, sort of higher level there. It forms hydrogen carbonates, or when it's in the water, it's carbonic acid. And then these carbonate sort of molecules get absorbed by marine creatures such as coral, such as anything with a shell, for example. Uh, and it, you, they use those, they use that carbonate structure to kind of help them build a little bit of protective layer around themselves. OK, so it's absorbed into the water and then ends up being used uh, by animals, marine animals as well. The fourth thing is rock absorption. So when the rocks are formed, usually in the form of uh, igneous rocks, so whether it's come from a volcanic emission, carbon dioxide in the air dissolves into a little bit, or if it's trapped under layers of sedimentary rock, sedimentary rock is usually one that they specify within the exam situation, um, it gets trapped between the layers, sediments lay over it, sediments lay over it, sediments lay over it, and it gets trapped in the form of a sedimentary rock, which are usually called carbonates due to the carbon dioxide that's been present that's gone from CO2 to CO3 in the form of a carbonate. Okay, so those were the key points that you needed to include. Now, it might not be very easy to try and figure out where your marks have come from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you three examples of students' work and show you what marks they would probably get. Okay, so here's the first example. Don't forget, what we are looking for is three factors. For one factor, they'll get one or two marks. For two factors, they'll probably get three or four marks. For three factors, they'll get five or six marks, depending on whether or not they have used their scientific language. So this example here, photosynthesis, they have given me automatically straight off the mark a scientific word, photosynthesis and chemical reaction. So I already am pretty happy with the fact that they're going to get the upper mark in that section. So photosynthesis, chemical reaction, yep, 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 yep. They've mentioned carbon dioxide rather than just leaving it as carbon. Granted, they've not necessarily said that it's made into uh, glucose, starch or carbohydrates. Um, they've not necessarily said that it's actively removed it from the atmosphere, um, but they've kind of alluded that, to that in their title anyway. So I, I'm going to give them the first two marks for that section there. Uh, OK, the next bit. Uh, but when a plant dies, all the carbon dioxide is released back into the atmosphere. That is not relevant. It just wants to know about removing. So I'm just going to ignore that bit for now. I love... You can have a little cheeky love heart there. I love the fact that they've included a chemical equation. And um, the only way they could have really tarted that up a little bit more is if they put uh, the two down at the bottom there. It's called uh, doing a subscript. Uh, and you can do it if you have a look on my screen here. Uh, if you highlight the number like that one, it's not a proper two. Highlight the number, font, font, subscript. Okay, that's how you do that. Um, 
I mean, if they really wanted to be extra la -di -da, they could have even gone uh, glucose is C6H12O6. You would not be expected to remember that um, for chemistry, at least. I don't think they need it for biology either. So if they really wanted to put a meal up, they could even put those bits in as well. But the fact that they've even thought to put an equation in the first place is already really cool. OK, so factor number one, sorted with a lovely bit of scientific detail like that. Definitely got the first two marks. OK, let's see if they've got another process. They have given another process here and they've used the scientific language there. So I'm liking this already. Um, we have to use the word uh, dissolves, absorbs. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that that's a similar thing. So, yeah, definitely got the second mark. Definitely got the scientific language mark there. Uh, it's converted into carbon rock or locked up carbon. Yeah, so they've talked about it going into coral. I'm happy they've got mark three and mark number four there. And then the final one, fossilisation. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Fossilisation. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to... They've, they've given the name of the process and they've talked about carbon dioxide being inside it. So I'm not going to give them the sixth mark because it's a bit vague, but they can definitely have five marks. So this, this answer here, I would give five out of six. Okay, so the second student answer here. Um, the first bit here is just the question. They've put that at the top of their answer, I, probably just to remind themselves about what it's about. Fair enough. So their answer begins here. There are a few different, slight spelling mistake there, but when you type in very quickly, those things happen. Uh, do just use a spell checker if you are typing something up. A few different ways that carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere. The first reason maybe say the first way or the first method uh, is done through the simple absorption into any water source. Yes, agreed. The cooler waters of our ocean provide our singular largest source of CO2 removal. Technically, I'd want that two down at the bottom. This is because carbon dioxide dissolves in water, making the oceans more acidic. Fantastic scientific concept there. And we've got keywords here causing difficulties for marine life. Uh, and help. Yep. Yeah, okay. So that is a really good, solid description of uh, this bit here. Granted, they've not necessarily talked about them being locked up in carbonates, but that was sort of the, the level eight, level nine stuff. So uh, I'm happy with that. So I'm happy to give them two marks for that section. Um, now, they've only actually done two reasons here. Uh, they've not, there's not a third section on a different page uh, that I could find anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong if this is yours. Uh, the second reason is plants. When they go through photosynthesis, the plants take in carbon dioxide. You've got the word photosynthesis, you've got the carbon dioxide, you've got the fact that it's taken in, love it, uh, produces oxygen, fantastic. Um, what extra language did we need there? Oh, well, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, again, pushing it to the really high levels, get yourself the glucose and starch mentioned, but that, uh, so they've got two factors, so it's three marks. Have they got the scientific language? Yeah, they do. So that is going to be four out of six marks. For the, this person, if they'd have continued on um, to do a third factor, as long as they'd used some scientific language, there's no reason why this one couldn't get six out of six. There's one or two little spelling mistakes at the start, but you're allowed one or two. Okay, those first two were sent in as Word documents. Uh, here is one that was sent in as a picture. As I keep saying, I really do not mind how you choose to lay out your work, whether it be typing up or handwritten. It is all good, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. So let's have a look at this one. Uh, the carbon cycle is a natural process in which carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere and recycled. Now, that is a beautiful introduction, um, but in an exam situation, this is gonna sound really rude, that is wasted time. Um, really sorry, that sounds awful. It's a gorgeous introduction, it really is, but an examiner, won't give any marks for that. So despite the fact it's a nice introduction, you don't necessarily need to include it. 
in a chemistry exam anyway. Now that obviously will be very different in English exams, history, geography, something like that, okay? In the science exams, we just want to get down to the facts. Um, so three main processes which remove carbon, carbon, I love that they've added this little bit here, carbon dioxide, they've corrected themselves, lovely, well done, are uh, photosynthesis, yes, you are right, decay, no, and sequestration, yes. So they've definitely given two correct factors already there. Um, so if they've got the scientific language to get it, we're probably looking at four marks. In photosynthesis, we have a name process, yes, carbon dioxide, they have specified absorption, good scientific word, through the stomata in the leaves. Very nice. So that's what we call a cross-curricular link. So in chemistry, we don't really talk about stomata or like any of the biological structure -y bits of the leaf, but there's some great cross-curricular links there with biology. So yes, love that. Um, in fact, what I could probably do at this point is because they've used that scientific words, th that scientific concept already, in theory, I don't have to read the rest of that thing about photosynthesis. I can just give them straight away the two marks. But I'm going to read it because, you know, it's looking good. So let's keep going. Uh, the carbon dioxide is then used alongside water and sunlight to create sugar and oxygen. Oh, lovely. And we've got a symbol equation with the correct subscript numbers. Love that. Great. Uh, OK, so, yep, yeah, that's one factor, but described really well. So that's two marks. Uh, decay is the process in which the corpse of a plant or animal is digested for by bacteria uh, or fungi. They clearly weren't too sure on this one, so they have just kind of left that a little bit vague. Um, so this bit would actually end up releasing. So that section actually ends up releasing carbon dioxide, so I'm just going to ignore that there. Um, you don't necessarily lose marks for having that factor there, you just don't gain any either. Uh, and let's have a look at the bottom one, sequestration. So first off, they've given the la -di da word for water being absorbed. So yes, let's give them a great big tick for that. So it's the second factor. So we're definitely on the third mark here. And we've got scientific language there already. So we're probably going to get that fourth mark. Let's keep going with it. Um... So the idea of the balance of the gas in the atmosphere and the gas in the ocean, and they've got the word balance, love it. Taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere uh, and being used to make coral, yeah. I'm really happy that that is the second factor, therefore the third mark, with some scientific ideas and some background knowledge. I'd be happy to give that one four marks. Okay, so that was the carbon cycle quality mark sorted, done and dusted. Most common places where people went wrong is basically not reading the question carefully. So when it said removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, lots of people were stating things that gave things to the atmosphere, that gave carbon dioxide to the atmosphere. So big lesson to take away here is read the question carefully, okay? That is it for now, ladies, gents, girls, boys and others. You make sure you're keeping well and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.